That's what I love, that he just was somebody that can brighten up your day even at your worst moments. Friends and family are still coping with the death of an upstate man. He was killed while crossing the interstate. The highway patrol has arrested the driver. Troopers say struck and killed Damian Franklin. That hit and run suspect is still in jail right now after being charged today. 7 News reporter Nikel Smith joins us with details about the crash and the victim. What have you found out, Nikel? Well, Tom and Amy, I talk with friends who say they're still coming to grips with the loss of someone they say is already missed. They got the right person. It's the right Damien. It seemed like it's too young, too soon. Amber Tate recalls the moments she learned her friend was killed. You don't have many friends that will give you their last. He was one of them people. Tate says she's known Damien Contavis Franklin for years. Goofy, he gets along with everybody. After both met in sixth grade. We had to be doing nothing and we could still be having a ball together. She says they were last together on Saturday before she missed his phone call on Sunday. Next morning I got up and I heard the news. It devastated me. It broke my heart. Highway Patrol says Franklin was crossing I-85 southbound near mile marker 92 when he was hit and killed early Monday. Troopers arrested Noe Castillo, saying he continued driving the gray Buick Terraza after hitting Franklin around 3 a.m. I was thinking what was going through his mind at 3 o'clock in the morning, but... I, who has answers? Castillo is now still in custody, charged with leaving the scene of a crash resulting in death. And that's the closest person I done lost to me. It really didn't feel like a friend. It felt like way much more. A friend now living on in memories. And I looked at him and I said, man, I love you. You my best friend. The coroner says alcohol may have been a contributing factor in Franklin's death, Tom. All right, Nikhil, thank you. The detention center tells us Castillo will go before a judge for a bond hearing tomorrow.